Besset Tech. It's a uh, computer network integration company, which uh, is a my way of saying it's outsourced IT. We work with computer network infrastructures. We also do sell and support phone systems, but uh, are basically outsourced IT. If you if you need somebody that can work with computer network infra infrastructure, hopefully you consider Besset Tech, and you know that's that's who we are in a in a simplistic manner. We're located. Uh, the south end of Charlotte. We've been there for about 17 years now. I work with a lot of smart people. My partner Ed Meadows and myself started a business years ago and I'd like to think that uh, we're partners with our clients and I'm proud of the service that we provide. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you, uh, this, this so hits me today. Yesterday I spent about two and a half hours on the phone with Microsoft oh boy, because yeah. of an Office 365 installation, and <laughs> they just need to make it easier, I'll tell you. It is a challenge, and we help a lot of clients with the Office 365 installation. I almost um, called you at 2 a.m. today. Um, I, <laughs> if you're still having problems, call me today. I'll be no, happy to help okay. out. So, Scott, tell us a little bit about the threats to computer systems today for small business owners and what they need to think about and how you might be able to help them there. People think that... Um, you know, hey, I don't go to, you know, bad websites and I don't put myself in harm's way, but you'd be shocked by how many people are out there in this world trying to have access to your computer, your business's computer network. And um, they make money by causing you pain because they will offer you the opportunity to go ahead and get rid of this pain for a sum of money. So um, having a solid firewall, being aware of what these emails look like, um, and and being able to recover for, from it should you bump into these problems is huge. When I say recover from it, it's huge for businesses to have their data backed up. A lot of people think they have an external hard drive connected to a computer and they're safe. That unit, and that it's device, in their office. Is, is connected to the device. <laughs> sure. which, so they're going to have access to that just as mu easily as they have access to your computer hmm. if you allow it. You know, people don't plan to to fail, they fail to plan. And if you're not planning to be successful by backing up your data in the cloud, which is separate from your network, it's affordable to do, you are really setting yourself up for future failure. People think all the time, geez, only it happens to big businesses, it happens to small businesses all the time. We're blessed to have businesses all around the Charlotte, the greater Charlotte area, and a lot of them bump into the situation. The, once the problem happens, not because an employee is trying to cause problems with their office, just because they made a simple mistake around the holidays, they get these emails, it looks like it's from FedEx. They click on a link to track a package for their granddaughter they may have bought uh, a gift for, and then all of a sudden they've allowed access to the network. Those people do not steal your data, they encrypt your data. It's still sitting there, you just can't use it anymore. How you go ahead and recover from that is to go ahead and Hey, bring, no. bring the well, you, 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 like for Charlotte, for example, the no Charlotte, guarantees there. The Charlotte either. government, yeah, exactly. I always say they don't have a good customer service department. Those folks, you know, Scott, this really hits home. Um, I, I can remember sitting late at night watching TV, thinking, how can Podesta actually let somebody? This is a brilliant man. I mean, he is an intelligent man. How can he let somebody into his computer? That's just, that's just incompetence. Less than a month later, right, I find out that I clicked on an email right. and somebody had been monitoring my computer waiting for me to suggest it was time for a client to send a wire. Uh -huh. and, and they could have been in my computer for months, right? They're sharp. And it is unbelievable. And when we did the research... And they actually showed me the email that I had clicked on that I should not have clicked on. I'm telling you, I still couldn't. <laughs> I would have not known that it was, even the way they were communicating with me, I actually thought I was communicating with my attorney through this conversation. It is unbelievable. And, and the only security is to use some type of organization like yours that will detect this stuff is happening. Because without it, the, the, I just would not know. Anytime any person suggests to you, even if you think you know them, suggests to you a transfer of money from one account to another, call that individual and ask, is this communication from you? You need to get verification. It happens so many times. With I mean, even large corporations, this is happening. You're exactly right. We had a roofing company. Whoa, recently. whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just say, exactly? <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> That's something you would know we do on the show. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. That's all right. No, I do listen. But um, uh, but, but what I was going to say is that we, it, we have mortgage companies 
that, that bump into this problem all the time. There was a roofing company recently where where one of the employees actually sent me an email. It looked like it was from her. Her Office 365 account had been hacked. People were literally sending emails out from her email address wow. legitimately. So it wasn't like it was a shrouded email. It looked like it was her or it said Scott Donahue. Um, it was actually her legitimate email address. So I picked up the phone and called her and said, is this from you? And she knew immediately, you know, it was not. The immediate response is change your password. Sure. Yeah. It, 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 it is. It's something everybody listening really needs to hear. Um, and the only way to, to really protect yourself is to be working with somebody like you, Scott, so you can tell us what to look for, True. right? That's exactly right. You know, and what not to do, you know. And you guys are seeing this, the newest uh, trick that, that, that they're trying to pull. I had, I had my people track it. Um, you know, they, they tracked it all the way to China, right. you know, nothing you can do about it, you know. What be, are you going to do? Yeah, and so the only thing you can do is just have knowledge and information in this case. That's exactly right, or, or at least as we were saying at the outset, be prepared, you know, just like the scout motto, be prepared. If you're prepared, should you ever bump into the situation by having a cloud backup that is, again, separate from your from your network, at least you can react to it. And that's the biggest thing. Of, and that really is your final protection, right? Yeah. I mean, you could train employees. There's a great program out there called um, Know Before. You know, Know, B-E, and the number four. Know Before. You could actually go to their website okay. or just Google them. And they will train you. They will train your employees. They will send them fake emails to see where your vulnerable spots are. So, in other words... They will send these fake emails out and not put the network at jeopardy, but be able to go back and train those individuals on how to be aware of what these emails look like that are potential hackers. Oh, are. I want to do that and, and check and see how Julie's doing. Send out some trickery <laughs> trickery emails. Oh, that's good. I'm liking that. Well, my my chief admin got got me one day because he sent an email that said, look what uh, O.J. Simpson's been up to since he got out of prison. I was like, well, that actually interests me, which is pathetic. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but I clicked on the link, and immediately I knew I made a mistake. And I, I turned my computer off and disconnected the uh, connection to the Internet. But I, was, I had made the mistake and already sent a notification out to my friends that I work with saying, hey, I've made a mistake, too. <laughs> Oh, we 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 are. Julie just sent me a text. You know I'm listening, right? <laughs> That's good. <laughs>